The Green Bank Interferometer GBI, is a former radio astronomy telescope located at Green Bank, West Virginia, USA, and operated by the National Radio Astronomy Observatory NRAO. It included three on-site radio telescopes of 85-foot diameter, designated 85-1, 85-3, and 85-2 85-1 is also known as the Tattle Telescope and a portable telescope. History The first telescope 85 to 1, Tattle, was built in 1959 at a fixed location. It was used in Project Ozma in 1960 without interferometer. In 1963, in anticipation of adding movable telescopes for interferometer, the second 85-foot telescope kit identical to 85 to 1 was ordered. The construction of the second telescope 85-2 was completed in 1964 along with a 1.5-mile track from 85-1. At that time, the 85-2 telescope was placed at the end of the track and cables were connected between the two telescopes. The GBI began operation that year as a two-element interferometer in order to test large aperture synthesis arrays and study radio astrometry and interstellar scintillation. In 1967 the array was upgraded with construction of the third element 85-3 to be located in the middle of the track. Both 85-2 and 85-3 had truck tires mounted on either side to allow them to be moved along the track to test different baselines. The limitation of the three-element interferometer along a short track became apparent. A 42-foot portable telescope was procured. The portable telescope was placed 8 miles 13 kilometers away from Green Bank site and then moved to 11 miles 18 kilometers forming a T-shape with the length of the bottom arm of the T to be similar to the length of each arm of the Y configuration at Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array VLA, which was still in a design phase. The portable telescope was later placed on a mountaintop in Huntersville, West Virginia, 26 miles 42 kilometers away from Green Bank, which is the same distance of the longest baseline of VLA. The portable telescope was replaced in 1973 with 45-foot portable telescope which was in use until 1983. From 1978 to 1996, the GBI was operated in support of USNO and NRL geodetic and astronomy programs. In 1979, the GBI configuration had 85 to 3 and 85 to 2 at 0.9 miles (1.4 kilometers) and 1.5 miles (2.4 kilometers) away from 85 to 1 respectively, and the portable telescope at 22 miles (35 kilometers) from Green Bank. In 1983, the 45-foot portable telescope was moved back to Green Bank for another function to become a tracking station for space VLBI satellites. The new 46-foot portable telescope was put in place for interferometer operation until 1988 when the GBI reconfigured to two-element interferometer with 85 to 3 taken out to become geodetic VLBI and pulsar monitoring telescope. The GBI resumed operation as a radio monitoring instrument on November 22, 1996, operated by NRAO and supported by the NASA High Energy Astrophysics Program. The GBI was then used as a two-telescope interferometer that operated simultaneously at 2.25 and 8.3 GHz to monitor transient, galactic X-ray binaries, AGNs and gamma-ray sources. 
Amongst the prime sources were GRS 1915 plus 105, GRO J165540, SIG X3, SIG X1, GRS 1716-249, SS433, and LSI plus 61303. On the October 6, 2000, the GBI monitoring program has ceased due to lack of funding. Topic. Technical data, two-element interferometer Baseline, 2,400 meters at an azimuth of 62 degrees E of N. Bands, 8.3 gigahertz X band and 2.25 gigahertz S band with 35 megahertz bandwidth. Receivers, cryogenically cooled, dual frequency, dual polarization. Both X and S bands simultaneously observed in both right and left circular polarizations. System temperature, about 35K in S band and 45K in X band. Sensitivity, RMS noise in a 5-minute scan is about 6 MJY in S-band and 10 MJY in X-band for point sources. Minimum integration time, 30 seconds. Resolution, about 3 arcseconds fringe at X-band and 11 arcseconds at S-band. See also List of radio telescopes <laughs>